Yeah, Wendy, if you are actually hitting the road, you likely want to fuel up before you head out so that you can get that done ahead of the storm. Some good news is, though, that city, county and most municipalities have a large salt supply since we really haven't had a significant snowfall. So they say they are ready. Now they're just waiting. We're preparing for the worst, hoping for the least. From the city to the county. We don't know which way the storm is going to track, so uh, we're being cautious and preparing for the worst. These next several hours are about watching the forecast, preparing the crews. We'll keep our shift over from 9 o'clock till 12, then we'll bring the other shift in early, three hours early. And making sure the equipment is plenty. We have contractors available to us, as they did a few years ago, uh, available to help us in case we need more equipment and manpower. And city officials say they have mechanics on standby and the emergency management center will be staffed. Both city and county officials ask drivers stay off the roads unless necessary, and if you must, bring patience. Wednesday's snow caused significant gridlock and delays, something to keep in mind if you're heading to Pittsburgh International Airport. Check with your airline in the morning, check with, the, check with them again before you leave. Airport delays depend on where you're headed, where your plane is coming from, and the runway conditions. We've uh, actually won several awards for snow removal, so our crews here are some of the best in the country. And the airport's plows, blowers, and sweepers are ready. When the snow falls, they work together in a line to clear the runway, while the crews on the roads will tackle their routes in a pattern. When, though, each official agrees is still uncertain. That's all timing. The timing for this storm and when you will start to see crews on the roads gets a little bit closer as we move toward tomorrow. So officials once again say they are simply waiting. One thing I do want to point out is that some airlines, including JetBlue, are allowing people to change and cancel their flights without any penalty. Now that depends on your destination. At this point, Pittsburgh is not included. However, if you're flying to a location such as Boston, that would be included. So you certainly want to check into that if you are heading out of the area by airplane. Reporting live, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right.